Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay from the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. The Franciscan Friar Priest of Masses for the following intentions. For the, sto- for the soul of Stafford Peterson, for the soul of Edward Chandra Babu by family members, for the soul of Colin Koreyam, Sylvester Koreyam, for the soul of Muthu offered by Brother Kulandai Sami, thanksgiving by Leonard Vincent and family, Thanksgiving on the 57th birthday of Caroline Martin. Along with these intentions, let us pray for people who are affected by the coronavirus. May God heal them and may God protect us from this dreaded disease. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of today is a continuation of yesterday's from the book of Kings. King Hahab commits a sin against a poor man. He grabs his land by crooked ways by killing him. And the word of the Lord comes to King Hahab and how God will punish him for the wicked thing that he has done. From this we come to know that King Hahab is a chosen one of God. Even when the chosen one of God commits sin, do wicked things, God will not leave them. God does not keep quiet. He punishes even the chosen ones when they do wrong. So let's pause for a while to participate in the Holy Mass. All of us as Christians or baptized Catholics have been chosen by God. But we too go away from God to things that are not pleasing to God. Before the wrath of God comes upon us, let us ask his pardon and his mercy on us. I confess to to Almighty God God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, bless Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us 
Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you a mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You led Israel into sin. A reading from the first book of the Kings, chapter 21, verses 17 to 29. The word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite, saying, Arise, go down to meet Hab, king of Israel, who is in Samaria, Behold, he is in the vineyard of Naboth, where he has gone to take position. And you shall say to him, Thus says the Lord, Have you killed and also taken position? And you shall say to him, Thus says the Lord, In the place where dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, shall dogs lick your own blood. Hab said to Elijah, Have you found me, O my enemy? He answered, I have found you because you have sold yourself to do what is evil in the sight of the Lord. Behold, I will bring evil upon you, I will utterly sweep you away, and will cut off from Hab every male, born or free, in Israel. And I will make your house like the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebit, and like the house of Bashir, the son of Hijah for the anger to which you have provoked me, and because you have made Israel to sin. And of Jezebel the Lord also said, The dog shall eat Jezebel within the bounds of Jezreel. Anyone belonging to Ab who dies in the city, the dog shall eat. And any one of his who dies in the open country, the birds of the air shall eat. There was none who sold himself to do what was evil in the sight of the Lord, like Hab, whom Jezebel, his wife, insisted. He did very abnormally in going after idols, as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord cast out before the people of Israel. And when Hab heard those words, he rent his clothes and put sackcloth upon his flesh and fasted and lay in sackcloth and went about dejectedly. And the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite, saying, Have you seen how Hab had humbled himself before me? Because he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his days, but in his son's days I will bring the evil upon his house. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord. Let our response be, Have mercy, Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy, Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Or wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. Our response, have, have mercy, mercy, Lord, for, for we, we have sinned. My offenses truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your eye, I sighed, I have done. Our response? Have, have mercy, mercy, Lord, for, for we have sinned. sinned. From my sin, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall bring out your goodness. Our response? Have, have mercy, mercy, Lord, for, for we have sinned. sinned. Your 
words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses from 43 to 48. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same. And if you salute only your brethren, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same. You, therefore, must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You must be perfect as your Heavenly Father is perfect. In our daily conversation, when somebody is strict, when somebody is very disciplined, one would dress us up well, we tell he is a perfect man. But that kind of a perfection is not what God is asking from us. And the perfection that would come to us is from forgiveness. When we are ready to love our neighbors, when we are ready to love our enemies and pray for them. And Jesus gives a beautiful example about the sun and the rain. Every day when the sun rises, it rises to everybody. The sun does not say, now today Father Simon has sinned, therefore I will not shine on him. The sun rises and shines on everyone. Whether you are good or bad, likewise is the rain. And why does God make the sun or the rain to come on everyone, even though somebody is bad? Why he gives them rain and the sun is, God gives them a chance to repent and come back to God. The Bible, we have a beautiful example of the rich man and the Lazarus, the beggar Lazarus. God gives the rich man time, opportunity, chances, till the death of his life. The punishment comes to him only after his death. He is thrown into hell. And so, when God makes the sun and the rain to come on everyone, the good and the bad, he keeps giving chance for the bad ones to come back to God. It shows the mercy and the love of God. So as we reflect the gospel of today, God invites us to repent and especially invites us to love and pray for our enemies. 
when we start praying for our enemies who have done something wrong automatically the anger the revengeful attitude that is in our heart will start disappearing when we pray for our enemies even in our daily life when somebody does something against us when we pray for them all that anger from our heart will disappear when we pray for them let's keep this in mind and pray for even our enemies amen Now we now pray to Saint Anthony. Let us pray to God our Creator, the Source and Author of all holiness, who has given us salvation in Christ. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in Saint Anthony. Guide our world leaders to seek the way of peace, assist our brothers and sisters who are oppressed. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in Saint Anthony. Look with kindness on those who have not had the gospel shown to them or who have lost their way. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in Saint Anthony. Help those who are poor, who have no food or homes, who seek work. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in Saint Anthony. Heal the sick and depressed. Let the lonely know the comfort of your love. assist all in need of your mercy lord hear our prayer as we honor you in saint anthony grant that our sisters and brothers who have died and now rest in peace may share in your eternal life comfort us who remain in this life and no mourn their passing lord hear our prayer as we honor you in saint anthony brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may, may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church 
Lord, we thank you for this new day that you've given us. And thank you for being with us to this very moment. Lord, throughout this day, in our work, our daily life at home, our travels and journey, we surrender them at your feet. Take complete care of us, especially give us the good health and protection that we need. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with the angels and archangels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave thanks to God, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper is ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, George Anthony Samir, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Lord, bless all the families who have offered Mass this day. Accept their prayers, thanksgiving intentions, and bless them. We also pray for all those who participate in this Mass, staying at home through spiritual communion. May you strengthen them in their faith and give them good health. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Anthony, St. Sebastian, St. Clare, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we pray to God for our daily bread, many people do not have work today, lack of business, because of which people are not having enough money and enough food. We pray that God's blessings and through God's providence, everyone may have the daily food that they need. With this in mind, as we stretch out our hands, let us pray in the words of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress and worries as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, with your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. This is Jesus inviting us today to pray for our enemies. Happy are we who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in this world, and I hunger to receive you sacramentally, but since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now, as I do when I actually receive you in Holy Communion. Never let me drift away from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have blessed with these heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Novena Prayer of Petition to St. Anthony Holy St. Anthony, you are the consolation of so many people. We come to invoke your help, confident of experiencing your goodness and power. Pray for us to the Father of mercies, that we may obtain the graces we need for ourselves and for our loved ones. Let us place our own personal intentions. True follower of St. Francis, put into our hearts the flame of your love, that we may love our merciful Father in heaven and our neighbors as ourselves. Pray, Pray that, that we may fulfill the will of God and live the way Jesus shows us in the Gospels. Be a guide for us this day, that we may recognize the opportunities God gives us to be helping and caring, assist us in keeping the promises we made at our baptism, help us to obtain the grace to walk in the light of faith and to proclaim that faith by the way we live. Amen. Saint Anthony, light of the church, lover of God's law, and doctor of the gospel. Pray for us to the Son of God. Let us pray to the Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, Father, for giving us St. Anthony, who lived the gospel life so faithfully through his intercession. May the good news of Christ inspire us to build up your kingdom and make the world a more fitting place for all to live. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. of fish and bird and beast take what we bring oh take these flowers and make a garland for god's face saint anthony we pray oh help us day by day oh walk along the Saint Anthony, our friend, companion to the end, our brother and our guide, lead us to Jesus' side. Our brother and our guide, lead us to Jesus' side. to St. Sebastian in time of pandemic corona. O St. Sebastian, faithful soldier of our eternal King, you remained courageous during the challenging times because you recognized the redemptive power in the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. You endured the pains of arrows that pierced your body. 
because you had already been pierced by the sword of God's word into your soul. Thus following our Lord Jesus Christ, you healed all people who have been suffering physically and mentally through plagues and pestilence. We have heard many testimonies of healing from people around the world, and we know in our own history that you have protected and healed people from black death and other pandemic diseases and restored them back to their normal lives with the nature, with their neighbors, and with our merciful Father. O true disciple of our divine physician, look upon your devotees who are afflicted heavily by the deadly virus of Corona. We have been deprived of many people's lives and relations. Being isolated from each other, we have become weak and vulnerable. Yet, like you, we dare to take refuge in the Lord rather than to trust in the power of this world, because it is God alone who is the author and perfecter of our lives. O holy martyr of our Christian faith, we remember gratefully all the generous and courageous people who have risked their lives to take care of the victims of this contagious virus. We ask you to bless them with good health. We request you to strengthen our faith and regulate our breath. Restore our sight to see the image of God in all creation. Purify our love, that we love and respect our neighbors with dignity and honor. And give us a sincerity of heart to stretch ourselves in solidarity with each other as Jesus did to manifest the kingdom of God in our midst, where he lives and reigns with the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Saint Sebastian, glorious martyr of Christ and unfailing hope of the afflicted, grant us good health to serve our God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Saviour, and by the powerful intercession of St. Sebastian, deliver us from the present affliction and fear of the pandemic virus Corona. Merciful Father, graciously listen to our prayers and heal our infirmities of body and soul, so that knowing your forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in your saving help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us. May he protect us from all evil and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.